Uh, pancreatic cancer is a very severe disease, and we know for a long period of time now that the median of all survival of these patients when they are metastatic is around 12 months. So it remains a major problem to have new drugs in the treatment of these patients and to try to define new strategies. It is very important to get a very rapid diagnosis because if you consider the fact that in metastatic disease, the median of all survival is 12 months. If it takes two months or three months to uh, have diagnosis and after that to perform a staging of the patients, you have lost at least one third of the median of all survival of the patients. So we need to do fast and we need to give to them an active treatment from the beginning of the disease. Recently, in metastatic pancreatic cancer, we have seen very interesting data because we got new combination chemotherapy regimen with folferinox, that is an active triplet combination chemotherapy, and combination of gemcitabine, napaclitaxel. And more recently, we have seen at ASCO the results of the POLO trial, that is uh, the use of Olaparib in the subgroup of patients that have BRCA1 or 2 mutation. And this is very interesting because this drug is able to maintain the effect of a platinum-based chemotherapy in this very uh, important subgroup of patients. And this is the first step of personalized medicine in pancreatic cancer. Yeah, this is the first time with, with the POLO trial that we were able to define with a biological test a subgroup of patients that could benefit more from, uh, from a treatment. And now we have a lot of work to do for other patients because we know that this is a very complex disease, pancreatic cancer, and there is not only one driven mutation. So the, the model of the lung cancer, for instance, is not at all the same in pancreatic cancer. So we have to put a lot of efforts together to be able in the future to do really personalized medicine in this disease. Genetic testing now is mandatory in pancreatic cancer because we know that this population of patients with BRCA1 or BRCA2 mutation need a specific treatment with platinum salts as a first-line chemotherapy and then maintenance with Olaparib. So it, it needs more work for, for genetic uh, geneticians, but I think it's very useful for our patients.